Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Kaur and welcome to my show, Dr. Gabby's Take, Make Life Interesting. If you, if you could um, share with us the different lessons learned that you've had at your different stages within life. So for example, as president of uh, SourceBits over the past few years, what are the lessons learned that you carry with you? Okay, I, I'll give you a couple lessons between Fusion 5 now, maybe even a little bit of my days running brand coke for the Coca-Cola Perfect. company. And we can go um, into the different sections if yeah. you'd like, that'd be great. But it, what's interesting is when I look back over things that I've done and what's really worked well, and, uh, or examples of what I've worked on where it was a, a car that was launched or it was a whole new shift towards a, a new generation or bringing in new technologies, new technologies um, there are always a couple things that stand out. And uh, I, I always go back to the fundamentals, one of which is you need to immerse yourself in whatever you're doing, right? So that, that's I one. But you also need to be grounded in the insights and the fundamentals. That includes what I call the business drivers, right? So I'm always relentless. When somebody comes to me and they say, look, can you give us some advice? We're, we're building this new tech venture. We want you to be on the board. We want you to be an advisor. I'm like, Great, let me see your business plan. I look at the business plan, but then I really want to know what are the drivers? What are the drivers of this business? that will enable you to be successful? What's your advantage? And what do you have that's patentable? Or what's the technology that, that gives you a, an edge? Another piece that I always find, so that's about the drivers and insights. The other piece is always to understand, and Wayne Gretzky said this, skate to where the puck is gonna be. The reason he scored so many goals and had so many assists, he said, I always skate to where the puck is gonna be. Now that sounds obvious, but most people will come to you with an idea that's today based. I don't want today based, I want 12 to 18 months out. So skate to where the puck is going to be, paint the, paint the scenario of where will we be in 2012, 2013. Where will people be with smartphones? Where will young adults be? What's going on with the economy? What's going on in other countries around the world? You know, what are the dynamics that are going to affect your business? And uh, so that's one of the fundamentals. You know, I, I always focus on where the puck is going to be, paint the picture, then come back and let's talk about how relevant your product your service is going to be. So with that, that eye in the future, what do you see ahead? And, and where do you think, where, where do you feel we're heading in terms of technology and in terms of opportunities looking into five years from now? When, when I help people, particularly CEOs, C-suite, friends, coaching, etc., helping people shift their game, I focus on a couple of things. You know, one is mobile, one is social, and one is retail. And that can also be retail slash local. And I'm focused there because those are drivers against the business. So no matter what business you're in, mobile is going to have an impact. The fact that people can be walking around in the world, tapping on things, downloading things, apps, etc., and, and they want to know where to go, they want to buy something, they go like this, or they speak in, they say, uh, Gabby Cora, right? And up you come, and, they're, and I'm looking at you on YouTube. Right? That kind of technology in my hand, in my lifestyle, is going to change how I buy, shop, share, etc. So that's one. The second one is social. You know, people think about Facebook and how important that is. Facebook, social is bigger than Facebook. Social is an approach to bring in people and their desire to share and to have fun together. So everything, everything we do has to have social built into it. When you build a product, if you're your marketing plan next year, social's there, not just Facebook. But the whole thinking about how will people share you, right? So that's the second thing. And by the way, social links to mobile because all the growth that's coming in mobile and all the growth that's coming in in social on Facebook and on Twitter is all coming with the two of them together, fused together. So Facebook is even flat at this point. And yet when you look at the growth, you know, they're they're experiencing growth like this, it's all coming from the mobile component of Facebook. So that's the second piece that's really important. The third piece is, is local or retail. 
the ability with your phone, the new technology that's coming, to buy with a Google wallet and a product that I'm part of linked in with, it's called Denair, which enables you to tap on print ads and outdoor boards and packages and whatever, and just tap, not even open an app, but just go like this, and up comes you speaking on my phone, or latest designer is talking on my phone, or I like that a lot, and I just touch it, and it downloads an app right there. So that whole piece of new technology helping you shop and go through your world um, is going to change all the dynamics. You'll just go like this. You won't even have to enter your credit card. You'll go like this. Oh, if you're a wedding dress, oh, I like that a lot. Click, and next thing you know, it's coming from Amazon.com directly to your house two days later. So the, the e-commerce side of that, or the ability to tap and pick up a coupon and walk 50 feet at a vending machine and buy, get a buy one, get one free Coke, that's going to change everything. So it's the world at the tip of your finger and where space is, is insignificant, mm -hmm. and in a way time is as well. Right. Like, you know, 20 years ago when we were thinking about sending a letter and receiving it in a week and sending a response within a week and getting that back prolonged you even wanting to receive anything. If you, if you think about the 2.0 world, right, you were at your computer, you had a browser, 18-year-old technology, by the way, you have a browser, you're online, you're going to website, pages are coming in and out. That's all outdated. That's all yesterday. Because now with the technology, it's in your hand, it's in your world, it's on the go, it's sharing it with your friends. So it's a whole different game. And then you couple it with payment technologies, what's called NFC, near field communications. The ability to pay with your phone, you know, that'll take a year or two to get there, but that changes everything. So as a business, as a, a proprietor, as a corporation, you have to factor these things in to where you're going.